now that I bought these epic little throwing knives, I can be an assassin just like in my anime. Nice knives, kid. Hello, YouTube. I am Jardian, and I'm here because I had another request to make a throwing knife video. Um, of course, this again was personal, but this time I'm making it with the intention of uploading it public. Like last time was kind of like an afterthought. And this time, I'm going to focus on some sideways angles because that was requested to see how the knife releases and how it lands on the target. And I'm excited to say we have some good slow-mo now and that will be included later in the video. And that's actually why I'm not gonna do too many throws. And there's a dragonfly, you guys can't see it, but it's there. Um, and I'm not gonna do too many throws now because I'm gonna get them all in amazing slow motion. I hope you like that intro. It took me like an hour to make, even though it was really simple because I made a mistake and I had to do a ton of stuff with it. But either way, it was pretty cool, although by the time it was done, it was so late that I just had to do the rest of this the next day. That's why it's so dark there. Anyway, let me get to the point of the video. Okay, there are two points of this video. Get it? I have two knives held up. Hey. Um, one is, as previously stated, I'm going to be showing slow motion, non-rotational knife throws, uh, especially the release. I can't wait to show off our decent quality slow-mo. No more Movie Maker garbage. Um, and the other thing is just for me to talk about this Cold Steel Shore Balance knife. It is one of their two one-pound throwers, and this is the one without handle scale, so I definitely recommend it. Uh, so I guess I'll do this one first, the Cold Steel Shore Balance. When you see it, you really, you can't tell what it's gonna feel like until you actually use it. It is, after all, it's a one pound throwing knife. People do not understand how substantial that is until they actually hold it and especially throw it. I mean, this thing, you might pick it up for the first time and think it's a little weighty. This is only like uh, eight ounces. I forget, I just told someone the other day. But it's so much lighter compared to this. And really, it's, a, it's, it's an experience having one. And if you like uh, the real thunking of the knives into the wood, this is definitely a good thing. Although, take my word for it. Uh, as you can see, my target setup's a little better. The camera angle isn't perfect. You can see it's now not just one board and a cardboard box. It's three boards and a cardboard box. This thing will destroy your targets. I mean, I had a huge wooden board originally. This thing just makes these, I mean, you can see the blade broaden so much, like it flares intensely. And what is this like? It's almost like an inch and a half, feels like. This will make these giant tolls in your wood. And it really sucks. I mean, really, it will destroy your targets. I broke my board, now I have these. Hey, stop laughing, cameraman. Um, other than that, if, if you're not worried about your targets being destroyed, like you have expendable wood, then this will be pretty good. Uh, the it really does make an awesome noise when it thunks. Wait, how long have I been talking? Anyway, I'm sorry I got distracted there. Um, while I did want to preface everything I was saying here with the fact that, first, like, this seriously will destroy your target, so if you're trying to keep one, don't use it. Anyway, I'm actually going to talk about the knife now and the lawnmower. Okay, I am inside now and it's time for me to finish this video and actually talk about this knife, the Cold Steel Shore Balance. Uh, the deal is, and I'm sorry this video has had so many interruptions, I don't like that. But at this point, I don't care. I started this video yesterday. I started it today and it's been two hours since I started. I was constantly interrupted every time I tried to talk about this. So now I'm just inside and I'm going to be very quick with it because this video is already kind of long. Um, what I wanted to say was, yes, this is a very heavy knife. This will not impact you poorly. As you can see, I am no muscle man, but I throw this without problems. I don't get sore arms. However, if you do want to do rotational throws, I can't recommend this if you use a pinch grip. This is very stressful on my fingers. I mean, it's very bad. I completely recommend the hammer grip. And even then, the hammer grip kind of stinks for the blade throws, even though, but it's fine. So 
the weight really doesn't matter unless you use a pinch grip because that is extremely stressful on the hand. Um, here, I'll try to get a close up and we'll put these together. This is the spine difference between this one and the one that's twice its weight. I'm not sure if we can get that in focus, but if we can, uh, you can see this is just considerably thicker. Um, and that's of course where the weight comes from. This is actually shorter than the knife I have there by half an inch. This is 13 and a half inches, that one's 14. Um, this design, I would have preferred completely if they would have just thickened this one. I don't know if there's some reason they couldn't, but this one is simply the more effective design, especially for no spin throwing, because it's much easier to stroke it on its way down. This one has this very stylish yet annoying bump on both sides here, and it just happens to be very close to when you put it in your hand, like a thorn throw. Um, it happens to be right where your finger goes. This is fine. You'll see in the throws that I do that I simply modify my grip, I put my finger on there and leave a gap, and as I throw normally, I simply either do a light stroke or I don't stroke at all. I simply do the let go. This of course means it's a bit less effective for the long range nose pin because unless you modify your grip even more, you are going to miss out on the full uh, benefit that stroking the knife gives you. Um, that's the main thing with the design. Of course, like I said, the broadened head does interfere with your ability to throw slightly. Um, it's not like it ruins anything because these aren't sharp. So holding it like this, even though it's tight, like it won't cut you. You'd have to sharpen it yourself or have it like damaged by throwing into something and become sharper. I know that's happened to some people. So, oh, and one other thing that nobody mentioned and they don't list it because it's a little thing, but the material, the finish is completely different than on these cheaper knives, you know, with the, this design. You, these are very smooth. Uh, it's just a cheap anti-rust, like uh, safety coating. This has a texture to it. It feels very nice and it feels great leaving the hand. This is also why the thick spine is so great because you can really just, as you're releasing it, you the spine is wonderful. It feels great to release like this, even from hammer grip. That's really all I had to say about this. And again, like I said, it will destroy your targets. I want to stress that because it really will mess up your targets. Um, it's also very loud if you miss and it's just a knife with a lot of force behind it. That's all I can say. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoy the throws coming up in the slow motion. It's not organized, but it's mostly just uh, these when I'm holding like this and uh, this knife where I'm using a more standard thorn grip and doing this. They're at a relatively short distance of a little less than 10 feet and that was requested. This does slightly modify uh, the throws I was doing because I don't need to do a full extension or a very proper technique. I'm simply doing a very simple release like that. Um, that's really all I have to say. I hope you enjoy the throws coming up. And one note I want to make, something that you may see a, I change uh, partway through, is you don't need to uh, have your hand out when you throw. That is simply a habit I have. It's not harmful at all. Like, there's no way you're gonna hit your hand. But you can see on some of the throws of video, I purposely put my hand down, and it does not affect me at all. Anyway, that's really it. Enjoy the slow motion, and I'll see you guys next time.
it's definitely interesting. I'm uh, I gay. 